Okay, so this one says find two numbers whose sum is 25 and whose difference is 11. So what that says is we have two numbers. So first I'm going to say let x equal the first number. And I'm going to say let y equal the second number. Okay, because it says right there we have two numbers with two variables, x and y. Now, it also says that the sum is 25. So that says to me, x plus y, the sum is equal to 25. And then it says also over here that the difference is 11. So I would say x minus y is equal to 11. Now, the equations were essentially given to us, and the only thing I would do here now is I would solve one of these for y or for x, and then I would plug it into the other one and solve the equation. And I'll show you exactly how that would go. You can solve for either y or x, it's your choice. Again, I'm going to solve for x. So what I'm going to say here, I'm going to define y here. I'm going to say y is equal to 25 minus x, okay, because I'm going to subtract 1x from this side and I'm going to subtract 1x from this side. So that leaves me with this equation, y is equal to 25 minus x. Now with that, I'm going to plug that in for y over here. So I'm going to say x minus 25 plus x is equal to 11, okay? And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add these two together because x, 1x plus 1x is 2x. So that's 2x minus 25 is equal to 11. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 25 to both sides. Okay, so I'm going to get is 2x is equal to 36. And I'm going to divide this by 2 then to get x by itself. Okay, so 2, and that gives me an answer of 18. So x is equal to 18. So that's our first number. Now we need to know what y is. And we have a nice little equation that already has y is equal to 25 minus 18. So y is equal to 7, okay? Now, in order to check this, to make sure that we have the right answers here, all we have to do is plug it into the original equation over here and see if it equals 25. So, 18 plus 7 is equal to 25, and 25 is equal to 25, so it checks out, okay?